Hello everyone, this is Sachin again. Um, and today we are going to discuss how you can join multiple streams in Kafka. So sometimes uh, this question comes um, and I have been asked like, you know, um, um, like, okay, um, you have different tables um, into database and um, you can stream them um, using some, some techniques like Debezium or Kafka Connect. And you can do a real time streams into the specific Kafka topics, but what about if you want to summarize or aggregate this information um, into a specific topic. And, and you know, um, because individual these topics doesn't make much sense, uh, but aggregation is required over there. So I'm just taking a very simple use case here. Uh, why simple? Because this will help you to understand, but of course it could be extended to any complicated use case as well. So let's start with a very simple user table over here. Um, we see this is my user table, um, it has some very basic information, like it has um, ID, first name, last name, and email address. And its address is stored into another table called user address table, uh, which is has its own ID, address, city, zip, and user ID as a referential entity. So um, these events on the real time from user can flow into their specific top Kafka topics. So for this demo, I'm assuming that the setup you're already aware that how you can um, stream your database um, changes as an event into Kafka topic by using the BZM or any other technique. If you're not familiar, watch, uh, feel free to watch uh, my previous videos uh, where I have already covered how you can um, publish these events into respective Kafka topics. Anyways, coming back to this. So now my information is already available in, available in real time coming into user table and at address table, but how we can summarize them. So user has this information and address has this information, but something you want something like a proper um, functional JSON where you want have a user information at one place and the address is kind of a nested object in this case. So, um, Let's see how um, we can solve this use case. So let me share my IntelliJ or right, before that. So let's quickly um, see the setup over here. Um, this is my user table, um, which has these details. And this is my address table, which has these details and user ID as a referential integrity. Um, this is my Kafka, uh, it's up and running. and uh, in the real time, user updates are going into a user table uh, topic and the address updates are going into address topic. So this I have opened already in my separate windows and latest message can be seen over here. There are already a few messages here and that's why I just put an offset start 25. So we just focus on my new messages. So view messages, like we don't see anything else except one previous message, ignore it for now. And the same case here as well for the user address. All right, so um, before even going to the um, streaming part, um, let's validate this setup. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll change this to um, some other, um, I'll change the email part of my Sachin user. And my Sachin user has ID two, basically, right? This address I want to change to 008. So that's what I have changed over here and Update it. So this commits it. And if you refresh your calf crop, sorry, it's a user calf crop here, and you see a new message has come over here with E2008. So real time updates for um, user topic is going. And let's also do the same thing for um, address. So let's move to address and refresh it. And there's no other message except this one. And what I'm going to do here is update that. All right. And if you click on view message, you will see that city has been updated. So real-time updates are flowing into Kafka. But I want to see the summarized information. So let's see um, this Java code. Uh, I'll not go much into details, but this code will be available in my Git repository. Um, so pretty much I have a user object with these fields and I have an address object with these fields. You've already seen over there. What I'm gonna do here is I want to join them. I want to summarize and flatten the user properties like here. 
and address as a nested object. So it all depends based on your requirement. This is what I uh, thought will be suited for a very TWI implementation like for this demo. All right, um, the code is not too big. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's written in Spring Boot. Um, I have already configured my um, user topic and address topic. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Store them into a variable using a Spring um, annotations. And here the real part starts. So now what I'm gonna do here from user table, I'm reading the stream from the user topic, holding them into this variable. Um, and then similarly for address um, information, I'm holding into address topic. By the way, you just see, I will just want to show you a small message details. Like when the DBZ message is flowing, I'm just keeping it very super simple. So we just focus on what has been changed. So you see the after field in this JSON that actually holds the latest information. Same for address and same for user also you saw previously. Okay, so this is my after uh, node in this tree, if you say, if you can say that so this element after this contains my latest information. All right. So uh, once I read these two streams, um, these are just a small um, code to basically convert uh, whatever string you have got into proper objects. So basically uh, from a stream of a strings, you got a proper Java object like user and address. That's all. And then you just join both of them. Um, because you join, these objects will be available. And then you populate your user address join object. Again, it depends on your requirement. I thought this should be very simple to explain. So once I have my user information, address information, I just flatten all that properties from user, populate my user address join object, and eventually the address object I set as is. So this becomes a nested object for that. So that my user um, address join object, this contains the joint operation between user and address. Perfect. Now we need to think about like there are various kinds of join. Uh, probably I can cover some of them in future, uh, uh, basically K tables and global K tables. The one which you're talking about is a stream joins uh, where in the real time assuming uh, that user streams are getting updated, address streams is getting updated and you're joining them. And finally, you give a join window of few seconds. So basically uh, what it means like in this duration, which I have kept three seconds for now, in this duration, if both objects are getting updated, then see, we need to understand like stream joins is different from your database join, where your database join, you have um, table data is already there, but here real time streams are coming. User objects may be continuously getting updated. Address objects may be continuously getting updated in this three second window, if both of them um, are getting updated, the events are coming, that will be joined and a unified event will be created for each of these user, user address event combination. All right, um, that's all. And uh, now once we have these three streams, the two are like raw streams, user address, and the third one is basically the summarized or joined stream. Now I'm just doing a simple logging of them. So wherever you see this dashed arrow, you see I'm printing the stream. I get my user stream, print that, the key value pair. I get my um, address stream, I print that as a key value pair. And I'm also printing the joined operation, the user address joined stream. That's all, and I close my stream. So um, let's run this project. Yeah, I close this while it is running over here. Now I'm planning to um, just saying demo hyphen 001. And uh, let me also update it to demo hyphen 001. So we know which object we're talking about. Perfect. Let me clear it off. All right. Um, so let me update only the user information. It commits it, the moment it commits it, we see the message has been printed over here uh, in my Spring Boot Kafka stream application. And we see here it's a user stream. So pretty much this is printing this guy. Um, and because I updated for searching two, which is an ID two, and that's why you see key ID two. 
and the information which has been updated e2-demo-001 at gmail.com has been captured here. Similarly, if I go and let's say update my address string, address table, it commits the address and I see the address has been flown and is being logged here. Now, one thing which you need to see, um, these are not like, uh, it's not like traditional Java code like you know, which is running uh, the way you have written in the same order. Um, if you just update user stream, only this piece of code is getting executed. So you see user stream. If you address update the address stream, only this piece of code is getting executed without even waiting for something or some, some kind of a callback as and when you update, only that piece gets executed. All right. Um, now you'll be thinking why this is not printed. Now I have added added both of them. The answer lies here because these updates are not in these three seconds uh, window interval. Uh, again, this is a stream join. So um, if you update only address or uh, only user, those updates you can capture, but not the uh, joined operation. So let's do one thing. Either we need to update it within three seconds or I need to increase it. So what I'm going to do here is let's first change to 002. And this also 002. And now what I'm going to do here, I will select everything all together and execute that. Now here you see that user and address has been updated. Don't worry about these uh, order of it. That's OK. It's just a logging thing, few milliseconds here and there. But the important part is like after um, user email and user city has been updated both to demo 002, this is my combined object and I'm gonna take this whole object and paste it here for better um, visibility. What is the problem with this guy? Um, is it like one missing? Okay, sorry, I think I missed one curly braces. Um, so you will see that um, user email has been updated to 002 and city has been updated to 002. This has internally combined these two stream operations, joined them together, and aggregated a final um, JSON object. All right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed um, this lesson, and thanks a lot.